Welcome back to the Surround Sound Podcast. I am your host, All Hunter Jr., the truth and not a rumor, laughing in here to myself. I'll tell y'all in a minute why. First up, you heard that Surround Sound double play that was from the big homie Finesse Two Times, dropped an album, dropped a mixtape this past week called 90 Days. You make sure you go and download, download that from your favorite you know, live, like, mixtapes, you know, that piff, your favorite music, rap, music source. As we always do inside the Entertainment Report, we like to give you or tell you your favorite celebrity sports birthdays, anniversaries, and or deaths. First up, birthdays. And uh, A Boogie with the hoodie, rapper. Yeah, it's, it's A Boogie with the hoodie. You just can't say A Boogie. Hey, Boogie, you can't just say with the hoodie. You got to say them both. Director Judd Apatow has directed some of your funniest favorite movies. What is it? Super bad. Let's go with Talladega Nights, my personal favorite. Then we got, what else? What else? What else? So, so, uh, what Step Brothers one and two? He was a lot of movies, a lot of movies. Uh, politician Andrew Cuomo from New York. Big shouts out to him for his birthday. Asian doll rapper. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this was especially funny. Uh, this is the part where I laughed. Uh, it's T.O.'s birthday. Like Terrell Owens, football player. It's his birthday this week. That's not funny. I know exactly. What is funny? Is there is a rapper whose birthday is the same day. The rapper's birthday is Young Tio. Now, as you just heard, Young Tio, not Young. <laughs> it's not Young Tio. It's Young Tio. It's spelled Y H U N G. So I need everybody to go and like Google that dude, and then y'all tell me how it sound. Just all you got to do is. Email me at surroundsoundpodcast at gmail.com. Moving on as far as the birthdays. Larry Bird, the legend. Larry Bird's birthday. And also another up-and-coming NBA legend, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yes, Giannis Antetokounmpo's birthday. Today we remember a few few people. Uh, First up, Bob McGrath of Sesame Street, one of the original humans to be on Sesame Street. Also, two-time Cy Young winner Gaylord Perry. Uh, Gaylord paid with the Minnesota Twins, amongst other teams, winning two Cy Youngs. And the Cy Young is basically, if you do not know, if you're not familiar, it's like basically the best picture, the best pitcher in baseball. Of Cheers fame, yeah, this one hit me right here. Curse the Alley. 71 years young, passed away this week. And we remember 17 years ago, this week, rapper Pimp C passed away. They they found that gentleman in a hotel room. And it's it's been clouded with mystery nonetheless. But one of the best Southern artists. I can't just say rapper because he's one. I mean, he, he made made the music, made beats. I mean, yeah, yeah. When it comes to Southern hip hop, Pimp C. Yeah, Pimp C. And we're going to get into Southern hip hop here, here in a minute. And I laugh because Lil Boosie is back in the news. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll talk about that in just a second. I got a question. If you, let's say you saw somebody at, that you work with that was fine. Guy or gal, it don't matter. You saw them, they were fine, you want to holler. What would you do? Would you say, nah, I can't holler at them because I work with them? Or would you try to holler at them? Well, in the case of Good Morning America, this two pair, this two pair twosome um, said they was going to holler. Now, in my defense, it's all right with me because I wouldn't be here, baby, if my mom and daddy had said, no, nah, we work together. We, mm, we shouldn't talk. Eh, I, would, I literally would not be here. So 
I want them to be here. I want them to to talk and it be all right and they still keep their job. So, courtesy of TMZ, the GMA three hour cook kicked off with fill in hosts Stephanie Ramos and Gio Benitez, and they glossed over Amy Robach and TJ Holmes being absent, saying the two regulars had the day off. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Anyway, sources at ABC tell TMZ that ABC News President Kim Godwin made the announcement during an editorial call Monday morning, calling the situation an internal and external distraction. I, I get it, but this is where things get interesting, and I wonder, is there a lawsuit in here somewhere? Because this is what it is. Kim also said the decision wasn't easy and it was not a violation of com com company policy. She added, and so I want to say that while that relationship is not a violation of comp company policy, why can I say not, not say company, company policy, I have really taken the last few days to think about and work through what I think is best for ABC News organization. That's interesting. That is very, very, very much interesting. I, uh, um, it's not. You, you didn't break no rules, but y'all can't talk. So why are you like it's an internal and external distraction? Like what's the distraction? It's two grown people doing what two grown people do. TJ Holmes and Amy Robach. I don't know. That that sounds like that could be a lawsuit, but nonetheless. All right, moving on. Entertainment report. This is courtesy of SI.com. Sports Illustrated.com, that is. Okay. Nia Long, of course, was shrouded in some controversy during the beginning of the fall. You know, she was dating Ume Udoka. That's her husband. It's, you know, it's a lot of mystery. They have children together. Anyway, the Celtics are like at the top of the NBA right now. They have the best record in basketball. On top of that, if you have the best record in basketball, you could just, you know, Whoever your best player on your team is just basically a shoe-in, at least, for MVP finalists. Hello, Jason Tatum. On top of that, you're more than likely going to have one of the best coaches in the game. Hello, Joseph Mazzula. Well, with all that, it was a situation similar to the T.J. Holmes and K Amy Roback situation where two people – was, you know, hollering at each other. And it was, you know, a big to-do about it. Well, here's what Miss Nia Long had to say about it. She said the most devastating thing about the whole situation was that it was a private matter that could have been made, that was made public, but should have remained private. If you're in a in the business of protecting women, I'm sorry. No one from the Celtics organization has even called to see if I'm okay, to see if my children are okay, said Long. It's very disappointing. Ooh, okay. Neil Long is a little bit upset when it comes to those Boston Celtics. All right. Speaking of upset, Boost Badass is in the news. And this is not the first time that he's been in the news for saying certain words against rapper Jay-Z. Uh, back when Jay-Z came out with 444 and the story of OJ and all that, Boosie had something to say in regards to the money stack, saying money it ain't money to you. Well, that's what people down south do is what essentially what 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 Boosie was saying. Well, this go round, while speaking on Vlad, as he often does, the Baton Rouge Spitter also talks about Nas and Jay Z, as far as relevancy, after twenty one after twenty one Savage came under fire, saying that um, both of these rappers are not relevant right now. And for everybody that is on socials, make sure you go and download the show so you can hear the entire clip. Peace.